Hi everyone. I've recently started using the Photo Room app for my listings, which I really love. So I thought I'd do a quick video just comparing the app to eBay's own Remove Background tool. So let's start with the Photo Room app. I've done a few shots showing you the before and after effects. You can see here the complete chaos and busyness of my office with the background and then just putting it through the photo room app you can see that it takes out the background completely and looks really clean and crisp and is really effective. Before using this app I used to have to crop right in and adjust the white balance and it was really time consuming but with this it just scans it and does it for you and it saves a lot of time. So I've just done a quick screen recording to show you how easy it is to use the Photo Room app. Um, it's a few clicks and then you're done. It's very simple just to save it to your camera roll and then you can put it straight into your eBay app. With the free version of Photo Room, it does give you a watermark in the bottom left hand corner, but that's easy enough to crop out. You can either do that before you import into the eBay app, or you can do it within the eBay app itself. Okay, so let's look at eBay's version of this. So I've gone into my camera roll and brought up the photo that I need and then it will prompt you to use the Remove Background tool. So I've selected that. So they give you other tools that you can use to refine it. Let's see how that works. So I tried using the brush, um, that wasn't working. It just um, added to the shadowing. Um, so here I'm using the eraser, trying to get into the nooks and crannies, oops, yeah, <laughs> already it's gone disastrously wrong. So let's start again, using the eraser again, I'm going to be a bit more careful this time and um, a bit more gentle and see what happens. very, very fiddly and very tricky. So with the nature of the eraser, you can't actually get into the little nooks and crannies. As you can see, I tried to there and it just takes a huge chunk out of the actual image. So let's try again. Again, being as gentle as I possibly can be. I have no choice but to leave um, a little bit of shadowing between the coat and the sleeve there because I can't get into that section to take out the shadowing. So let's have a close up look of it and see what's happened. As you can see, there's quite a large amount of shadowing. There's a little bit in the corner there. It's not great really. And let's have a look at what happened on the Photo Room app. As you saw, it just scans it and takes out the background completely. It doesn't leave any shadowing. It's not 100% perfect, it does leave the outer lines just slightly fuzzy, but 
it really doesn't make much difference because you're not looking that closely when you're going through eBay listings and looking what you want to buy. So um, I'll just show you a few more examples of what I've done and here you can see it didn't remove all of the background at all. If we look closely quite a lot of my background has been left behind. Hmm. <laughs> That's not ideal really is it? So again, let's look what happened when I scanned it with the photo room app. It does leave a bit of the table in, but that's not really a big deal. Looking a lot crisper, a lot cleaner, and a much more usable image. Then I just crop it using the square setting and takes out the watermark, takes out quite a lot of the table and then it's a perfectly usable image. Let's see what happens with this dress. Hmm. Okay, let's have a look close up. So as you can see, the edges are still leaving shadowing and they're quite jagged. They're not smooth at all. It's taken out little chunks out of the sleeve there. Um, and also left a bit of background in. So let's compare that to the photo room app. The lines are a lot clearer. A lot sharper even though it's not perfect but so much better and it hasn't left any of the background in okay let's look at this last dress again it's left some of the background in. It also has removed one of the straps. Let's have a look close up. Yeah, that's where it's left the background behind. Not ideal. Yeah, and one strap is completely missing with some shadowing left at the bottom. If we compare that to the photo room app, no shadowing at the bottom, the lines are a lot sharper and both straps are intact. So in conclusion, I don't think there was much comparison at all. I would always use the photo room app above eBay's own tool. Um, it doesn't work very well at all. Um, in fact, actually made the image worse <laughs> in many cases. Um, so yeah, photo room is the one for me.